Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is network layer and then I will explain functions and design issues of network layer. Guys, I have uploaded complete computer network subject tutorials. I will provide that link in description. You can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. Okay, so the same model contains same layers. And the network layer is third layer. So network layer is the third layer in the OSA model. It is responsible for routing, forwarding, addressing, and delivering data packets between different networks. Guys, I will explain in detail about what is routing, forwarding, addressing, and delivering data packets. And the network layer ensures that data is transported from source to destination, even if they are located in different networks. Just for example, one company is in Hyderabad, and next company is in UK. Company in Hyderabad is one network, and company in UK is other network. Even though if companies are in different networks, companies can communicate each other by using network layer. Next, I'll explain functions of network layer. This network layer contains different types of functions. By following all these functions, all devices can communicate to each other, even if devices are located in different networks. First function is logical addressing. We also call logical addressing as IP addressing. So first function is addressing. Every device on your network has a unique identifier called IP address, where IP stands for Internet Protocol. The network layer assigns these IP addresses to source and destination devices so that Data reaches the correct location. Yes, for example, if you consider devices like laptops, iPads, tablets, mobiles, and computers, if any devices are connected to network, then network layer will give one number to the devices. We call that number as IP address, where IP stands for Internet Protocol Address. If one computer wants to send data to other computer in network, then data can be transferred by using this IP address. Yes, for example. This computer want to transfer data to this computer, so this computer will identify this computer based on IP address. Second function is routing. That is, if one computer want to send data to other computer, network layer will find the best route not to send data. If network layer find the best route, then data will be transferred from sender to receiver very fast. So, process of selecting the best path for data transmission is called routing. Network layer will find the best path. So data will be transferred from sender to receiver very fast. And in order to find the best path, network layer will use various kinds of routing algorithms such as shortest path routing, distance vector routing, and link state routing. By using these routing algorithms, network layer will find the best path from sender to receiver in network. And third function is forwarding. Once the best route is selected, the data packets are forwarded from one device to other device until they are reached to final destination. Guys, devices mean routers. Data will be transferred to various routers until data is successfully reached to receiver. Guys, each and every router contains table. In that table, all other router informations are stored. So, router will find the best route by seeing that table. So, forwarding means transferring data from one router to other router until data is successfully reached to receiver. And router will identify best route by seeing table. And fourth function is packetizing and fragmentation. Network layer will perform packetizing. That is nothing but dividing our complete data into pieces. We call these pieces as packets. Yes, for example, if packet is too large, then further again our packet is divided into pieces. So dividing our larger packet into smaller parts is known as fragmentation. So network layer will perform both packetization and as well as fragmentation. Each packet is transferred to receiver. Whenever receiver receive data, how sender transfer data? In same way, again data is rearranged in order and then receiver will read the data. And fifth function is error handling and conjunction control. Because if there are any errors in packets, the network layer will identify that error and as well as network layer will correct the error. This is meaning of error handling. This conjunction means too much traffic in network. For example, if you consider road, if so many vehicles are passing in single road, then there will be traffic jam. In same way, if multiple devices transfer data at the same time in network, then there will be traffic jam. So network conjunction means too much data traffic in a network. Because if there is too much traffic in network, then data will be transferred to receiver very slow. There is also chance for loss of packet. If there is too much traffic, some packets will be lost and they are not reached to receiver. 
and last function is quality of services shortly we call it as qos as if multiple device transfer data at the same time in network then there will be conjunction that is nothing but traffic jam for example let us say one person is sending email and next person is doing video call so if there is high traffic in network then critical applications like video calls and online gamings these both are given high priority when compared to emails if there is high traffic the network gives permission to video call and network will not allow emails so critical applications like video calls and online gamings these both are given high priority when compared to emails in order to control conjunction in case if there is high traffic these are various functions of network layer next i will explain design issues of network layer guys network layer has several design issues so network layer need to identify these issues and network layer need to correct these issues so devices can communicate each other in network efficiently first design issue is ip address management in network each and every device is given one unique number we call that unique number as ip address guys normally in network there are two types of addresses one is ip address and next one is mac address one device will identify to other device by using these addresses so network layer will assign ip address for each and every device but problem is in network there are billions of devices so assigning ip address for each and every device is very tough network layer need to manage that the challenging part and second one is routing strategy if one computer want to send data to other computer in network the network layer will identify best path by using that best path data will be transferred from sender to receiver so duty of network layer is to identify best path from source to destination routings are classified into two types one is static routing and next one is dynamic routing in static routing network administrator will set route manually even if best path is available this route will not change for example this computer want to send data to this computer so network administrator will set one path for example this is path through which data will be transferred only by using this path these two devices need to communicate even though if best route is available still this device need to communicate only by using this path so in static routing at first a path is set between devices and then by using this path device will communicate and whereas in dynamic routing dynamic routing changes the route automatically based on network condition as for example in dynamic routing this computer want to send data to this computer so at first device will transfer data by using this route but this device will identify that this route has heavy traffic so simply instead of taking this route device will communicate by using this route so in dynamic routing device will automatically change routes based on network condition sometimes in network traffic is very high and sometimes traffic is very low network condition is changing frequently in that situations finding best path is complicated if network layer takes too much time to find best path then data transfer will be late so network layer need to find best path very fast so data will be transferred very fast this is challenging part and third one is packet loss and error handling guys if there is any conjunction in network that is nothing but if there is too much traffic in network sometimes receiver may receive wrong data if receiver receive wrong data then network layer need to identify that error and network layer need to correct that error and also in some situations complete data will be lost due to high traffic in case if there is any data loss network layer must find that lost data and then network layer need to resend the data again so identifying lost data and then sending that same data again is challenging part and fourth challenge is fragmentation and reassemble guys whenever one computer want to send data packet to other computer if that packet is very large then further that packet is divided into various parts we call that part as fragments after all fragments reach their destination router how sender transfer data in same way all fragments need to reassemble in order so that receiver will read the data but in this challenging part is even though if there is any single fragment loss all fragments need to be retransmitted again which will cause delays that is nothing but receiver may receive data very slow network layer need to rearrange the data in order so that receiver reads the data and fifth challenge is conjunction control that's in network if multiple devices are sending data at the same time then there will be too much traffic if there is too much traffic in network then data will be transferred to receiver very slow or sometimes network blocks 
So conjunction control can be done by using two ways. First one is packet queuing and second one is traffic prioritization. For example, whenever traffic is very high, router will not send data immediately to receiver. Instead, router takes data from sender and then router will wait some time until traffic reduces. Only after reducing traffic, router will transfer data. This is meaning of packet queuing and whereas traffic prioritization mean in case if there is too much data in network, allowing only important data to send first and making unnecessary data to wait. It is known as traffic prioritization. Network layer will allow only important data and network layer makes unnecessary data to wait. This is meaning of traffic prioritization. But in the challenging part is, if high traffic is not controlled properly, then data will be transferred to receiver very slow and sometimes packets may loss and even in some situations network may failure. So by using two techniques, network layer must control conjunction and network layer need to allow only important data to send first by making unnecessary data to wait. And last challenge is security concerns. Billions of people will use network in order to transfer data. Guys in network, hackers may hack our data. So in order to protect our data, there are two solutions. First one is encryption and second one is firewalls. Yes, encryption is nothing but converting our message into unreadable format is known as encryption. For example, whenever sender want to transfer any important data, then sender will convert the data into unreadable format. So even though if a hacker hack our data, he cannot understand the data because the data is in unreadable format. So whenever receiver receive encrypted data, then receiver converts the data into readable format. This is meaning of encryption. And second one is firewalls. That's in our systems, we need to turn on firewalls. Firewalls will block unauthorized data, so which will protect our data from hackers. But in this challenging part is, encrypting each and every data packet is time taking process, which will slow the network. And next challenging part is, sometimes instead of blocking unnecessary data, Firewalls may block important data, which will cause problem. All these are challenges of network layer.